All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be uh, talking about CJ So Cool and his assistant, or I guess his former employee, D-Lo. D-Lo dropped the video um, explaining, I guess, his side of the story um, briefly. But um, before we get into D-Lo, I wanted to actually check out the video that CJ So Cool dropped. It was like a, a little excerpt in the video where he actually talks about D-Lo and I guess his disappearance. So let's start there first and then we'll do, uh, we'll react to the video that uh, D-Lo dropped. How did he come a part of my team and how come ever since he came around everything is just different? Well, I'm not really going to get too deep into that, but I want you just to take a look. This is exactly what he is. He's a very clean, nice young man who just so happens to run a lot of businesses and he keeps his nose clean. That is why I want to stay close to him because he's actually mentoring me and he's showing me the way. And because of him, I've been able to not only develop a bunch of businesses on the side, but actually partner with other businesses on the side. I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, and this is just my opinion. I'm not really feeling this guy, G. Um... I mean, at this point, you could have just kept Batman Kevo as your uh, as your manager or management. You don't need G. I mean, that dude G has a very extensive. I mean, I'm sure you guys all seen the paperwork. If you didn't go check it out, uh, I'm just not feeling him. I was actually uh, watching a couple other channels. They're not feeling him either. I don't think his subscribers are feeling this guy. But uh, we'll see what happens. But it seems like. A lot of things have been uh, changing rapidly, and I don't know that these changes are all that great. So where now I actually have ownership in a lot of businesses that you guys don't know anything about, but just know it's all his man fault. I'm literally gonna blame it on G. <laughs> Lately I've been going through a lot of changes and transitions, and for those of you that's watching, maybe you can tell, maybe you can't, but this is the first time I'm gonna say anything about it. I don't know what happened to D-Lo. Usually I say, where's D-Lo? But this time, I'm honestly gonna say, I don't know what happened to D-Lo. The last time I saw D-Lo, he left my house, he looked like he was in a rush, and I asked, he said he doesn't know. Sounds like he has no clue where D-Lo is at. Yo, you good? What's up? He said he had to go to the doctor appointment, which I already told you guys. Let's pray for D-Lo. But after that, I haven't heard from D-Lo. Like, literally, that was over a week ago. I know he's doing good because everyone's been screenshotting me. I'm posting. So he said it was uh, over a week ago. Let me replay that again. I think he said he went to the doctor's office or something like that. <laughs> Lately, I've been going through a lot of changes and transitions and for those of you that's watching maybe you can tell maybe you can't but this is the first time i'm going to say anything about it i don't know what happened to d-lo usually i say where's d-lo but this time i'm honestly going to say i don't know what happened to d-lo the last time i saw d-lo he left my house he looked like he was in a rush and i asked him yo you good what's up he said he had to go to the doctor appointment which i already told you guys let's pray for d-lo but after that i haven't heard from d-lo like literally that was over a week ago i know he's doing good because everyone so over a week ago and he hasn't heard from D-Lo. Let me check when this video was published. So this video was published on June 13th. So over a week ago. So we're talking about maybe what the first, first couple days of July. He hasn't heard from D-Lo since the first couple days of July, something like that, something along those lines. He's screenshotting me, I'm posting, he has videos on YouTube, but I just haven't saw him. So, quite frankly, a lot is going on. A lot is changing, a lot of people are evaporating out of my life. I'm not going to say for the better, but a lot of people are just leaving. And it's not up to me to decide who stays or not. People are leaving on their own, and I'm going to continue to try. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It might be uh, It might be, be because of you. I mean, it could be directly, it could be indirectly. People just don't vibe with you. They're not... Um, they don't agree with the decisions you're making, the way you're behaving, you know, the people you are bringing back or bringing around you. It could be many things. I mean, it sounds like he's making he's going through a lot of changes. He has new management. Um, and it just seems like, yeah, it's definitely a lot of changes. I mean, started off with royalty. Then he had a, Lexi as his girlfriend or assistant or whatever that relationship was about that quickly faded away now we got D-Lo fading away or I guess he he separated um so yeah it's been a lot and D-Lo is actually one of those guys I was like you know D-Lo is actually a real one he actually appeared like a really good guy in my opinion I felt like I felt like he was underpaid like he has a whole lot of potential you can see that he has potential um so yeah, I mean, I, I feel like damn. That that was that guy that you, 
that was around CJ now for like a couple of years. I think it's probably been at least a couple, probably like three years, something like that, four years. So it's not, it's not a good look. Evolve. I noticed how I didn't say I'm going to continue to evolve. I'm going to continue to try to evolve. I noticed that a lot of you guys consider me to be very arrogant. It's understandable, but it is what it is. If you don't believe in yourself, who else will? So I have the utmost respect for myself, and I have the most confidence that anyone could have. I don't really mind the comments or the hate, but I do. I mean, you can be arrogant and cocky and all that, but you also have to self-improve. Like, like this man, I feel like the ego is just like the ego is getting way, way worse. Like, I feel like, I don't, I don't even think it's arrogance at this point. I think, like, this man is just, like, like, he, he's really pushing away people at this point. And he feels like they have, they have to adapt to him and to adapt to his changes. But when you see a lot of people just, like, moving away from you or they're only around you for certain purposes, and you even said this during life, the people around you, you only bring them around you, but... They get paid to be around you, which doesn't make sense to me why when he talked about Greg, his new manager or this business partner or whatever, why would a guy that's so successful want to hang out with CJ so cool? Like if you're a multimillionaire, I mean, I, I don't get it unless it's a new business venture where he can capitalize off of a CJ so cool's followers. That's the only thing I can really think of it, but I just don't see why. I want to just address the fact that D'Lo is, I believe, he has quit. And D'Lo's still my friend. I'm not a following him on Instagram or nothing like that, but I just feel like he's quit. So for those of you wondering, is D'Lo okay? I know he's okay now, but I don't think he wants to work here anymore. Not for any specific reason. Maybe D'Lo just found a new path. But either way, D'Lo's still my homie. Prayers for D'Lo. Hopefully he is doing... Yeah, that's not a... You know, like everybody else, all the other personalities that we have seen around CJ, like Bam and Kevo. I mean, we can talk about the recent stuff, Lexi, the new manager, uh, his best friend, Bake. But I mean, it's just even like Bake, even CJ on 32 is like it is so many people that have decided to take a step back to, set, you know, create a distance like that's just not. Something is not something is not adding up, folks. Um, but that's what CJ said. CJ said it's been over a week. He published this video like the second week of July. So we're talking maybe first week of July. So let's check out what D'Lo what D'Lo had to say. Wow. Teeth really I still gotta redo it because I feel like I didn't brush my teeth properly. Anyways, man, how y'all doing today, man? Tip top top of the morning, man. It is Sunday. Fun day. Why are my shorts a little bit? Like that gets big. Oh my god. But it is Sunday fun day, man. Um, just a top of reminder, man. Just let y'all know. Do not go to Chick-fil-A today. You know who I'm talking to. Those that do it, don't do it. I'm one of those that do it. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm chapping already went at seven o'clock. It just didn't work out for me. But anyways, man, top of the morning. How y'all doing, man? Y'all know I always gotta start any video, every video, almost every video is you forgetting off with how y'all doing, man. Due to the fact that I always want to know, man, check on y'all well-being before I let y'all know how my well-being is going. So with that being said, highlight me real quick. How y'all doing, man? Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's good to hear, man. Y'all uh, doing great for those that is doing great. Sorry, it's a little black in there, man. But for those that's doing great, man, I'm happy to hear y'all doing great. For those that's not doing great, what are y'all doing? What's going on? What's the problem? How let me talk to me in the comments down below. But of course, I know y'all probably looking like, oh my gosh, do you know made a video? Yeah, man, I made a video, man. I ain't, I ain't been nowhere. I'll tell y'all where I've been. I've been somewhere, but I ain't been nowhere, man. I really just been working my butt off, man, lately, man. These past, uh, oh shoot, I gotta finish this too. I've been working my butt off lately these past few weeks, man, like crazy, man. Uh, working in, um, <clears throat> taking care of my baby, man. What I do best, man. Of course. Damn, I mean, D'Lo actually looks a, he looks a lot better. I mean, you could tell, like, he's definitely, um, he's definitely a little bit more happier. I don't know. It seemed like he wasn't that happy around CJ, or at least, like, more recently. He wasn't that happy. Um, but now it looks like he actually, uh, you know, 
there is some some type of excitement in his life. I've been I appreciate all the love I've been getting, man. I've been receiving crazy love in my DMs, my in my comment sections, everywhere, man. And y'all know me, man. I like to keep stuff to to a minimum, man. Minimum, 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 minimum. But to answer the question, everybody wants to know. Uh, do I still work for CJ? No, I do not work for CJ anymore. And before y'all jump to conclusions, eh, we had the whole conversation about it. We said they had the whole sit down and conversation. So, hold on. He just said that they had a whole conversation. They had a sit down. This is why I wanted to play um, what CJ so cool said earlier. And CJ said that he hasn't heard from D-Lo unless the video that uh, CJ recorded is a really old video I don't know but uh, you guys heard it he said that it was over a week ago and when D-Lo came in he was just rushing and then he went to a doctor's office but uh, he believes D-Lo has quit so I don't know if CJ is lying or that video might have been like a video that he recorded two months ago and decided to publish recently who knows um but you guys got to hear what just what Dilo just said. They had a sit down. There was no hard feelings. There was nothing like that. But you know, sometimes in situations you gotta, when it's time to go, it's just time to go. That's just it. It was no hard feelings about it, nothing. It was just more so along the lines. It was not really a role for me, I should say, uh, working for him no more. No, you know, once again, nothing was wrong with that. Um, I don't know, but it seems like uh, Dilo's like facial expression, you know, I don't know if you guys know this stuff, but they always say that body language also shows mixed signals. And his body language just tells me that there's a lot more that happened. Because he says nothing really happened. There's just there was no position for me. Why would there no why would there not be a position for you? I mean, you've been around CJ for several years. That man should have made you at least a business partner or like maybe like the uh, chief operations officer. You know how CJ always said, do you remember when CJ got on video and said that his his brand, his company is more like a Fortune 500 company and uh, the way he's going to carry himself going forward, he's going to carry himself like a CEO of those types of companies. So he won't be out in the streets you know, interacting or trying to get himself in any kind of dirt or trouble. This is the video when Lexi was around. If you guys remember, they had like that little sit down one on one with the camera. And then he decided to bash royalty, but claimed that it was like going forward, he was going to be like more like a Fortune 500 company. This is the kind of the new initiatives he was taking on. So I would think D'Lo being around you this long, several years being involved in numerous projects. Um, some people might say that he's not that qualified, but he's done a lot for CJ. Uh, he's been around CJ for a long time. He at least has some day-to-day -day operations experience working with CJ or a celebrity like CJ, if you want to consider CJ a celebrity. So I would think that Dila would have been elevated to an executive type of role you know, something upper management. I know it's hard to think of CJ Sokol company as a Fortune 500 with upper management and all that stuff, but he, he could he could have definitely put him in the right position, not as some assistant. And then we hear that he paid, actually, this is what CJ said. CJ said that he paid Lexi $300,000 for six months. I don't know what the hell she did for six months, folks. What did she do for six months? To be his girlfriend or to be his assistant? So she got uh, 300000 He said, I think he said 290 something about 300000 I read it off in one of the comments that he responded back to somebody else. Um, I'm pretty sure Dilo didn't get paid that much and did a whole lot a whole lot more work than Lexi. That's, that's just what I'm saying. Every job I did, he got somebody to do that job. Um, he replaced him. He replaced me with every job I did. So everybody had a different role. So he hired multiple other people, which was, you know, came out good, outcome good, you know. Hold on, let me let me replay that one again. 
What did he say? Working for him no more. No, you know, once again, nothing was wrong with that. Um, every job I did, he got somebody to do that job. Um, he replaced. So every job he did, CJ got somebody else to replace D'Lo with. That's kind of like a that's a little, that's a very powerful statement. So everything that D'Lo did, CJ would find somebody else to do. Why is that? All right, is he like trying to hire people that do it better than D'Lo? Or is he trying to reduce the workload on D'Lo's plate by, you know, maybe D'Lo had several responsibilities and by taking one responsibility, let's say editing videos, he would take that away and give it to another employee to be an editor. Why is that? He replaced me with every job I did. So everybody had a different role. So he hired multiple other people, which was, you know, came out good, outcome good. You know, be able to push out more content, so that's good. But um, it wasn't it wasn't a place. I'm not gonna say it wasn't a place. I'm not say it wasn't a place. It's always a place. It was definitely a place for me. But I'm looking to do more and make more per se. Um, I was offered a different role out the door, but ordinary just so it's gonna be invisible. I was offered a different role out the door, but uh, it wasn't really my it it wasn't really my thing. Like, I wasn't really my thing. I can't really speak on too much about it, but just know I was offered a different role out the door. That's just what it was. It wasn't really my thing. Uh, other than that, it was, it's no problems. I'll be seeing some of the comments, man. Some of y'all, wow, still in the comments, man. Nah, me and CJ ain't got no problems, man. It's still my friend, man. Still like a brother. But, you know, I got a few business ventures that I've been working on um, within over the last year. That's why I was always telling y'all, like, yeah, man, I'm working on something. I'm working on a few business ventures myself, man, over the last year. Uh, so, with that being said, a lot of them. Just Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Um, so D'Lo says that he's working on several business advent adventures. And that is because he wants to do more and he wants to earn more, right? But when we just uh, listened to the video that CJ So Cool dropped or that little excerpt, he said that Greg... All right, which I think is his new manager, which is going to be quite interesting. Um, if you guys listen, he said that Greg, this new guy, this successful guy, um, is working with him on creating other businesses that you guys are unaware of. CJ has other businesses, I guess, that he's partnered in. So why, why didn't you partner up with D'Lo? Like... D'Lo just said that he, he wants to do more. He wants to make more money. So why wouldn't you take take that opportunity since you guys been loyal friends? You've been like brothers practically for a couple years. So why wouldn't you invest in things D'Lo wanted to do? Is in like a business is to create more revenue, right? So why wouldn't he want to work with D'Lo on other business ventures, but instead he's going to work with Greg, who is already successful? Like, I don't know. That that, that, that doesn't make quite a lot of sense to me. Like, um, you've known D'Lo a lot longer than you've known Greg, and D'Lo is out here, you know, he's he's really, he's hungry. You know, he's a hustler. He, he You can tell, like, D'Lo is a workaholic and it's not like uh, I don't want to say it like in a way that's degrading like he's a workaholic like somebody you just pay a salary and he'll just work no it seems like he really wants to achieve more he wants to build more he's creative he's good with his hands I mean he said all these different qualities about himself um, and he can definitely adapt to new changes so why why wouldn't you want to work with somebody like that on a new business why would you have to go to somebody completely new? I don't even know how in the world he met the other guy. It seems pretty interesting that he wants to work with this new guy, Greg, his new manager. Like I said, it doesn't make sense. I I would think I would just have Bam Man Kevo be my manager at this point. At least Bam Man has clout. That guy, Greg, has no clout. So, I don't know. It's, it's kind of interesting.
you know, getting more attention, I should say, getting more of my attention. So I'm able to do more, make more money without having to really be away from my child, man. Because a lot of y'all know, man, I'm real big on uh, raising my baby, man, raising my child. I'm real big on it. Because that's top priority at the end of the day, man, before anything. That's top priority. Raising Kennedy is my number one thing that I must do, I have to do, because I brought her into this world and she didn't ask to be here. But I wanted her to be here. My bad, y'all. That was actually my business partner right there, man. Um, I get more into detail on my actual, what I actually do and later on. Right now, we kind of... And it could be that, you know, it could be that, because um, I don't want to, like, make it seem like CJ so cool might have been close-minded towards D'Lo. Um, it could be that D'Lo just didn't want to work with CJ so cool as an employee or as a business partner or as anything. Maybe he just wanted to separate from CJ so cool. He just, you know, doesn't want to. He didn't want the uh, employee or the business relationship. He'd rather just be friends with the guy. So that's also a possibility. But the only reason I mentioned it is because when Bake, CJ's best friend from you know a long long time ago and um it's crazy how cj dropped bake over lexi the girl that was only in his life for like a couple months but that's a whole different story for a different time but bake when he was on bsc tv he said he made a comment about the people that cj brings around and he said i might actually have to find that live stream but he said something along the lines that cj only really listens to people that got money so if you don't have money, you don't have some type of success, you are your opinion is irrelevant to CJ. CJ so cool only listens to people with money. And he was actually using an example about cars and buying cars and he was saying that he told CJ why does CJ need all these cars? I think he said something about like he had like 12 cars or something like that if I'm not mistaken. He was like, "Why would you need another car?" But when Bam Man Kev, a man with more money, more clout, more success, you could argue, told CJ to get another car, he went and got another car. So that kind of, that's how, you know, before I made that comment that maybe D'Lo just doesn't want to work with CJ based on what I heard from Bake, who is his best friend for a long time, make comments about the type of people CJ only listens to or pays attention to. Um, that's why I said it could be that CJ just didn't really picture D'Lo as a businessman or somebody that he could partner up with because to him, he's an employee. He was his employee. Why would he care about starting a business or joining business ventures with D'Lo? Because that's just not he's not he's not portrayed as a successful person to begin with, whereas Greg might be presented as a successful business owner. But then you. It, then it doesn't make sense because why would if I'm a multi-millionaire and I already established myself as a multi-millionaire why would I want to go hang out and be CJ So Cool's manager it's just like it's it's like almost the reverse of what D'Lo is doing so let me try to explain this D'Lo is almost like he was an employee right he was working certain hours he's an employee for CJ he was making a fixed amount of money or a certain amount of money. And he wants more. He wants to elevate in life. You know, he wants to do more and he wants to make more, right? And that seems like to be the, the right ideology. But you got this guy, Greg, who's doing almost the reverse. CJ says that this guy is a successful business owner. But why would somebody successful, a millionaire want to be somebody's manager i just i just don't understand that unless there's more to this i don't i don't get it it's like going from being a multi-millionaire to being a manager or doing management for this social media influencer that that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me still securing the bag right now so yeah it's a little low-key but I don't want y'all to get no speculations or nothing like that, man. You know, we ain't had no falling out or, or nothing like that. You just, you know, at, at some point in life, you just know when it's your time to go. You know, I helped bro out. He had some great people come along, um, join his team, man. Uh, Greg and Brittany, man, some two two great people that come along to help him out. So it ain't like, you know, me quitting. It ain't like I quit on the turn when he was at his worst. I quit on. So D-Lo is just 
Dilo wants to separate, but he doesn't want to burn bridges. That's what it really sounds like. It sounds like, hey, you know, we're on, we're still on good terms. We just might not agree on the same things anymore. And we're just going to go our separate ways, which is, that's respectable. You know, I actually respect his, uh, his, his decision or the way he's actually announcing this. Um, he, just, he doesn't want to burn the bridge. He's not here, you know, trying to bash CJ. But you can tell, like, from facial expressions, like, if, especially, like, if you read body language and things like that, you can tell, like, there's a lot more to this. You can tell that D'Lo almost feels neglected. Um, it's just, like, that's crazy. Like, to me, that guy... Like, I would say D'Lo is probably one of the more... He's probably one of those personalities that CJ presented on video that I actually, like, say, man, I actually like that guy. That guy is actually not that bad. But other people that CJ would hang out with or claim that he was in a relationship with or for personal or business, like, you'd be like, oh, I don't really care about those people all that much. Like, Lexia, I wasn't really a fan of Lexia. She might have been attractive, but... She's just there was there was nothing really about her that I kind of liked because CJ just painted this beautiful picture and then just tore it apart. Um, Bandman Kevo, I mean, if you know Bandman Kevo, you know, um, you know that guy's like a huge finesse. He's just all cap. But D'Lo seemed very relatable. Like, a lot of people watching CJ and they see D'Lo, they can relate to D'Lo. He's, like, a hardworking man. He might not be the most smartest person. He might not have a lot. He might not be good at everything, but he seemed very relatable. Like, you might see yourself through him, uh, your younger self. You might see a brother, a cousin, a family member, whatever. So, I don't know. It seems like all the good people... um, are vanishing away from CJ. Time where he's about to be at his most highest peak that he's ever been at. And I hope that he, you know, everything just take off as it's supposed to, you feel me? So, yeah, bro. So if he's at his highest peak now, why wouldn't he want you to elevate with him? That's, that's what makes this whole thing confusing. If CJ is at his highest peak and he's going to elevate, why would he not want... D'Lo in a much higher position man if if, if he paid Lexi 300000 like he claims for 6 months and pays D'Lo what I heard like some people are saying that D'Lo gets paid about $5,000 a month and I think only the only reason people say that is because D'Lo went on live on IG live I don't even think it was an IG live I think it was just a story feed post like a while ago, might have been a couple years ago, probably like two years ago, I mentioned something about he was a maintenance worker at some building making like 14 bucks an hour and working for CJ, he makes like five five bands. I don't think he makes that same amount. I think he makes a little bit more than that, but to find out that Lexi was getting about 50,000 a month, I don't know. It's just, it just it would definitely rub me off the wrong, the wrong way if I was in a position like D'Lo making like a few thousand dollars and then I see Lexi who does absolutely nothing aside from being his so-called girlfriend getting 50 grand. I'm sure you guys would also feel different. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's 118 degrees in Vegas right now. I'm sitting right under this AC vent. Things drying out my non contacts that I don't have. I don't need wet contacts, but they drying out my contacts. But uh, yeah, man, that's that's really it, man. You know, I don't really. That's that's really it. I've been just seeing the comments. Man. I just wanted to clear up the comments. I know a lot of people be y'all be going crazy in the comments, folks. Uh, but nah, it, it's still cool. But anyways, man, today's Sunday, so y'all already know. With that being said, today I gotta pick up Kennedy, man. I gotta pick up Kennedy, man. I'm so excited. I'm currently work with a mama right now, man. We supposed to be um, I gotta take my baby back home to Indiana, man. Gotta take her back home to Indiana. What date? The date is soon. Um, we got like this big old family reunion. My mom throwing for us, man. So she want my grandma got to meet my daughter, man, for the first time. She's never met her because she's never been to Vegas. Three times she was supposed to come, she didn't come. So with that being said, I got to take her back home to meet her, man. I got a busy, I got a busy July coming up. I mean, we in July. I got some busy weeks coming up. So of course y'all gonna definitely be traveling with me there and to other places as well, because I got like 
three, one, two, I think like three trips coming up. Um, all business related besides going to see my, you know, taking my baby back home. Other than that, all business related 100%. Um, yeah, man, I want to teach y'all, teach y'all things on as far as how to do something I've never done before. Like, so recently I had to, uh, I've, I've been hired as well to create a website. Now, if you know me, I'm quick to say I can do anything, which is very true. I can't because it don't take shit to research. That's how everybody learn how to do stuff anyway. So when you came to my, uh, that's my business partner calling. One second. That's so crazy. As soon as I was talking about it, he, we were just calling to confirm everything about one of the trips. But anyways, man, I was talking about this website. So I got paid a, a decent amount, a decent amount to create this website, man. Um, that's definitely something that I am interested in showing you guys a thousand percent, a thousand percent. Why? Because it's something I learned on the fly. Um, cost a little money because I had to buy like uh, certain stuff to, well, it really didn't cost that much. It didn't cost me nothing because, uh, you know, the owner of the website is the one that paid for everything. So I just had to come back behind and do the work on it. But it's been a venture. It's been a, it's been different doing it. I should say it's been something different, something new. See, that's kind of what I like about D'Lo is that he's always like, I mean, he's like, he, he has like a positive soul. And it's not like one of those like fake positive, like, you know, those fake positivity characters that, you know, you guys listen to on YouTube because a lot of people claim that they're doing things um, to motivate you and inspire you, but they do it for like maybe one or two vlogs and then they hop onto a different boat of doing drama and then they change it up and do something completely different. And uh, I mean, we I, I don't want to sit here and like pick other YouTubers that do this stuff because a lot of them do this stuff and they claim, oh, they're all about positivity. But they never really do anything to actually inspire their own supporters and subscribers. But at least D'Lo, like, like I said before, D'Lo is definitely more relatable. So a lot of people... When they see him, they can, they can actually relate to him. Like, you, you can see yourself through him. Even though he might have been working for CJ So Cool, who's a multi-millionaire or whatever, you just feel like this guy... It's almost like he's like your brother or something like that. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to explain it because it's more like a feeling thing. You know, some people might feel it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining it the right way. Hopefully, some of you understand it. If you don't, then, um, yeah, you probably won't get it. I've never done it in my life. I've never created a website. Um, from creating websites to creating flyers to creating banners for events to conventions. Um, I've been doing literally all in the last few weeks, and it's been it's been freaking nuts. Very enjoyable, I should say. It's something different. But other than that, man, I got to cut my hair. I got to get, you know, my hair's already done. I got my hair done probably, like, almost a week ago. It's been a week. I'm glad it's probably been, like, three days. Y'all know me, man. I'm quick to take my hair down and get it redone so now i'm you know i've been taking care of it much better man now i make sure i go and get my you know get this haircut stuff down man i'm almost there man kind of sort of a little bit i still be messing my head up a little bit you already telling me but i don't be can man what's, 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 what's say something about me i don't care anyway it's just it's, my bad it's just hell man that's how i look at it man it's just hell it's just hell but hey, you guys happy man to clear all the rumors up and all the answers man uh i'm doing great man I'm doing fantastic. Um, me and Brian got no feelings, no no hard feelings towards each other, or nothing like that. He's prospering. I'm super proud of him, and that's all that matters. That being said, let me go and get to this haircut. So when y'all, so yeah, it looks like uh, he wanted to end things on a positive note, which um, yeah, which is probably the right thing to do. You don't want to burn bridges, but you can tell like. Yeah, either D'Lo got tired of CJ's drama or he wasn't paid enough or CJ just didn't really want to pursue things with D'Lo from a business standpoint. Because it, it seems like D'Lo doesn't, D'Lo doesn't want to be CJ's employee forever. And nobody, nobody quite frankly wants to be an employee or at least most people don't want to be an employee forever. Most people want to elevate in life. They want to make more money because shit is too expensive, folks. I don't know if you guys been outside or you've been in a you've been hiding in a bubble, but shit is expensive. Things are getting more expensive. Um, homes are getting more expensive. Cars are getting more expensive. Life is getting expensive and you don't want to be like tied down to no salary and shit like that. 
Um, so I can see why he would want to expand. But I'm just like, think about it. Like, D'Lo worked for CJ So Cool, one of the biggest YouTubers, right? One of the biggest YouTubers, 9 million subscribers almost. And he made a decision to leave that. That's like that's like a very strong decision. And D, and CJ being CJ just you just heard him say that uh he's working on all these new businesses um some of you some of which you guys are unaware of because he doesn't want to announce or whatever. But you got a guy on your team that's like an A star, like an A a team a player whatever you want to call them like the classification like this guy's a real worker a real hustler he's not lazy you guys know there's a lot of people that are lazy a lot of people that are um not productive not efficient delo just doesn't like he doesn't give me those vibes he gives me the vibes as someone that's actually you know he wants to learn he wants to grow he's creative so he has a lot of good quality. So I'm like, why wouldn't CJ want somebody like that? I mean, clearly he's had him on his team for several years. He hasn't fired him. Um, he's actually replaced, like like Delo said, he's replaced different duties that uh, Delo did with new staff. Maybe because he wanted new staff to maximize on those different like roles instead of like Delo just being like sort of like a jack of all trades. He can just hire people that are just master and that one specific uh, resource. But then I would think that you would just move D'Lo and elevate him to a higher position where he can be like in charge of several businesses or maybe you can join together in starting a business. I don't know. I, I, I would think there would be more growth opportunities beside just offering the man a new job. Like, I, I that's that's just the way I'm thinking of it, but... That's definitely, um, it's definitely not, um, it's like pretty disappointing. Be what I could. And if you got a problem with the way I cut my hair, how about you come cut this motherfucker, man? How about that? Come help me out. Come cut this motherfucker. Now, with my beard, man, I'm, I'm keeping my beard, man. I'm going to grow my beard out, man. I'm trying, man. So, guess what? We about to grow it out. We not about to cut it. And let's see how this goes. All right, y'all. So, I'm finally done cutting my hair, man. Mmm. Uh, mm. Uh, uh, I think I did alright. I think I did alright. Anyways, man, it's definitely hot today, man. Vegas is 116 today. But, uh, forget all that, man. Let's go see if I go pick my daughter, man, because y'all know I definitely miss my baby. Alright, y'all, so I'm finally here with Baby K, man. I was supposed to be picking. Dishwashers use 80% less. A freezer, I should say. She is dropping. Oh, 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 Good job. Okay, ready to eat? As y'all see, man, I'm using a different camera because I actually left my camera at home, of course. But, I mean, I didn't see my baby, man. But she know how to say camera now, so she know how to say David. She's the camera. And she just grabbed these bubbles. How do you even know where this stuff is at, bro? You know we need to have this a little better because that is no. No bubbles. You got to eat first, okay? You got to eat, okay? Give me a pass. Pass it. Give me a pass. Give me a pass. Give me a pass. Come here, bro. You don't give me a pass. Guess what? There's gonna be consequences and repercussions for you. Give me a pass. Give it. Give it. Oh, you don't wanna eat? Man, I think CJ should be uh should be uh taking some lessons from uh from D when it when it when it when it comes to becoming a father or some father duties or responsibilities. Like CJ just wants to hire people to do things, but you you need to know, especially in life, you need to know how to do things. It's like if you're hiring somebody, you got to train them on how you want things to be done. And if you don't know how things are done, how could you expect employees to perform a certain way? Like, I, I just I just don't I just don't I don't get it. Um, but I think he need to he needs to pick up some uh, few lessons from uh, from D'Lo because D'Lo actually knows what he's doing with these kids. Yo, man. I had a great time with my baby, man. It's always a fun time with a man. It's just like the joy of, like when I say, I personally feel like nothing really makes me happy. Yes, money can buy happiness sometimes, but me having a kid is like my true 100% happiness no matter what, man. Nothing can top that 
ever in life. Listen. Out out playing the same um, Kennedy had fun, man. She's doing great, as y'all see. Because I think a lot of people be like, oh, this is really Kennedy content. We not here for you. You know what? I know that already, but it's all good. I still love y'all. But as y'all see, man, she's very getting, getting more inactive with the cameraman. Um, I've been thinking about hooking up with this um, model agency. This woman, I uh, found her Instagram, ran through it, you know, looked into it a lot, looked into it heavy, actually, because I'm really thinking about investing into it. Uh, it's not really that much money, but I got to get the approval from my mama, of course. As of right now, the answer is no. She don't want to do it. She don't want no parts of it. Okay, I can respect that. Can't do nothing but wait to see. You know, she changed my mind. She said she want to look into it. Cool, I'm going to let her look into it. I sent all the information she needed, so she said give her a couple months. She'll get back to me. I don't know when it's going to take that long, but I'm not going to argue with it. I ain't going to be mad about it. I just said, okay, let's go ahead and do it. But other than that, man, hopefully y'all had a great day today. Hopefully y'all had a prosperous day today, man. Hopefully y'all continue and continue to stay positive, man. All positive feedback, man. All positive living. Just it. That's just it, man. All positive living. And don't ever think that you can't do nothing. You can do whatever you want to do, big dog. Just do it. It's going to take a little time. Sometimes things don't go in your emotion as it wants to. As fast as you want it to, I should say. But eventually in the long run, or in the short run, or the shortcoming, things start to roll the ball in your direction. Things start to roll your way. Just always remain positive. Stay away from drama, man. Stay away from negative energy. Because negative energy can hold you down and hold you back because that weight will be on your shoulders so heavy that you just can't release it. Nothing will literally make you happy. No matter how much money you got, no matter how many dogs you got, no matter how many cats you got, no matter how many kids you got. That's what I say, yes. You know what? I can't say the dogs. Anyway, man, y'all get my point of what I'm saying, man. Stay positive, man. Keep positive in your life. Keep positive. Just everything. Like me, I'm about to go positively play the game now that I'm done editing. It's interesting that uh, that D'Lo is ending the vlog this way, saying, you know, mentioning drama. He says, uh, it doesn't matter how much money you got, you know, all that material possessions or if you have like pets or things like that. If the drama is still there, it's just going to be more stressful. So it's kind of interesting. This is the same video, by the way, that like I didn't. This is just the ending of the video. Um, he starts off about CJ and, you know, him out obviously not working with CJ. And then he mentions the drama, because if you've been following CJ, CJ's been nothing but drama uh, recently. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty disappointing. But, I mean, shout out to D'Lo. I'm sure, um, you know, I'm sure he's got his business ventures um, or endeavors lined up or he's in the, in the process of uh, making sure, you know, things are lined up in his direction. But... Yeah, it's pretty uh it's pretty disappointing cuz you know, Dilo is the one that definitely seemed like the real one on that channel, at least in my opinion. He seemed like he seemed like definitely way more relatable than anybody else CJ has ever had around him. Um but anyways, that's just my opinion, folks. Just my reaction. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.